Okay, we are all lathered up with my new go-to barbershop, small batch, made in-house, Razor Emporium. Need I say more? Uh, lathers wonderfully, easily, fantastically. Anything else, Lee? Um, and I am now looking before me and I see a plethora, an abundance, a cornucopia of blades, 25 different brands to be precise. These represent the 25 brands that as of today's filming, we stock at Razor Emporium. And people always ask me, you know, Matt, I bought a, uh, a, a sample pack from you guys and you guys give like a little blade rating. How did you come up with that? I always tell them we have a machine and like there's a laser and it like totally does it scientifically. No. The truth is we're gonna do it right before your eyes. I haven't done it for a while, um, but it came from years ago of something like this where I did a consecutive shave and we just kind of compared them starting with the sharpest feather. And so we'll do that again. We'll start at feather uh, being a five and we're just gonna kind of work our way down to see what is in that same vein or less than that and just kind of come up with these. And it's subjective. It's 100% subjective, guys. There's no objective blade rating scale laser measure tool device. I've seen people that have some kind of device that like takes a, a hair and suspends it and then takes the blade and sees how much pressure it takes for the blade to cut through the hair and then they came up with a chart. Okay, cool. And maybe that's more objective than me um, for sure, but in some ways I just think that it's not as, a, as, as relative because they had feather as like, like, a, like a three or three and a half. It wasn't even like at the top end. I've been doing this for 15 years and I seem to hear the same thing from every single person out there that feather is the sharpest. And so we're just gonna go with that assumption, right? That's what everyone thinks. So one other thing to note is the word sharp. What are we talking about when it comes to sharp? Are we talking about its ability to remove hair? Are we talking about the sensation experience of it uh, maybe pulling, dragging, not pulling, not dragging, a laser cutting through your hair? Is it feeling comforting? Is it feeling smooth? Is it feeling jaggedy, you know, rough, harsh, aggressive? I'll try to use a lot more words than just sharp when we're doing each one because different coatings on different blades uh, may give different sensations, even though if you go back and feel it, it may feel closer. So I want to kind of include that as part of our rating scale. So this is kind of be kind of a tricky technical feat here, and I'm going to have to require assistance from um, my assistant. And we're going to basically have a bunch of Gillette fat handle tacks that have all been redone in nickel. Um, as kind of our neutral razor handle, and we're gonna just kind of do a round rosy of loading a blade, and I'm just gonna do a single stroke. Just, okay. We are loaded up, lathered up, and thus we begin the complete sample pack experimentation. First stroke, feather. Five. <laughs> but seriously, it's, it's very smooth, it's very close, it's very efficient. Five. Number two. I may probably even wet each one down. I don't know why I do this, but I always like to wet the blade. I always feel like it's weird to have a dry blade. Uh, two. Kai. Uh, almost as sharp, just slightly less uh, close feeling and a little bit more draggy, so I'll give this four and a half. Rapira. I would say same as Kai, four and a half. This was the Rapira Lux, I believe. Herma Sharp, also four and a half, yeah. Felt very similar to the Kai, very similar to the Rapira Lux. This is Persona from Israel. I'd give that a four. That's not as not as close as the other ones. All right, on to Gillette Seven O'clock Yellow. This is what they call the Sharp Edge, and it's from India. I'd even give it a three and a half. That's not as close even as a Persona. A little bit more scrapey feeling. 
This is the Gillette 7 o'clock Super Platinum, also from India. About the same, three and a half. This is the Gillette Silver Blue from Russia. Three and a half. Felt almost the same as other Gillettes. Kind of slightly scrapey, slightly harsh, not as smooth as the fours and fives. This is the seven o'clock super stainless from Russia. Three and a half. This is the Phoenix Artisan um, Platinum Strangelet from China. Three. It tugs the most so far. This is the Super Max Titanium. Feel the power of titanium. This is, it says London, but I don't think it's actually made in London. Maybe it is. No, is it really? Okay. Oh no, made in India. Ha, I knew it. No one makes things in London anymore. <laughs> I'd actually give that slightly higher. This is like a three and a half. This is the RK, also from India. A lot of Indian blades. I always tell people like, man, it's India, it's Russia. That's who makes blades. Ooh. That's a four. That definitely is a step above some of the ones I've been using as of late. It's more smooth feeling, less harsh, less tuggy. This is the Wilkinson Sword from, I believe it's from England. Maybe it's from Germany. The packaging here, I think it's actually Germany. Ooh. I'm just gonna just keep on going with that one. I get that a four and a half. That's nice. Very nice. This is the Super Iridium. These are made in Russia by Procter and Gamble. Yeah. Very nice. Very much like the Wilkinson. I'd say four and a half. This is the Astra Green Super Platinum from Russia. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I could do that. I'd give that a four, four and a half, maybe four and a quarter. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna take a quick moment just to re-lather, make sure that I'm, I'm holding a good lather as a constant variable, right? We're doing experimentation here. Obviously this shave is taking longer than a normal shave would. This is fun, I gotta tell you. I think it's more fun watching Marissa next to me as like a little Christmas elf making these little razors up for me. <laughs> this is Gillette Platinum from Russia. Oh yeah, that's easily, I would say four and a half, even four and three quarters. It feels smooth, it feels effortless. It felt like the, like, like the feather but without the harshness, kind of. I always thought that feather, if you do an entire shave, especially like my neck area, it just, you, you're done and you're like, ah, just a little bit of harsh, especially if you've done it consistently with the feathers, like day after day. Uh, onto Vaskad, Vaskad from, from Russia. It's shaving, but a lot less sensation of pulling or tugging, but not as close. So I'd give it a four. Uh, we're gonna do the Rapira Su Swedish Super Steel from Russia. I give that a four. Actually maybe, yeah, three and three quarters. We're doing the Rapira Super Stainless from Russia. We'll say a four on that. 
little bit less, uh, sorry, a little bit more smooth, less pulling than the uh, other Rapira. We're gonna do the Derby Premium. Now these Derbies, I'm actually, oh, I think Derbies are made somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll have to put the country manufacturer the name on every single one of these. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a three. This was a lot of, lot of, lot of tugging, a lot of pulling. Not, as, not anywhere near as close as and smooth as some of these other ones we're feeling. Okay, we're going to continue here. We have the Astra Superior Stainless from Russia. It's actually really nice. I've been missing out this whole time. We've got a four, maybe four and a quarter. Very smooth. Uh, we got the Treat Platinum, and these guys are from Pakistan. What? There we go. Uh, honestly, that's really nice. I'd give that a, another four and a quarter. We got the Derbies, Derby Extra. Classic here. Um, three and a half. Just a little more tugging sensation. Okay, we got the Trig from Pakistan. I'll give that a solid four. It, didn't, it, it was less, less tugging than the last one I used a Derby. I'm actually really glad I've done this because some of these blades, it's just been a long time since I've used and my technique has changed and my, you know, knowledge of all this has changed. Uh, last but not least is the Treat from Pakistan. This is the Treat New Steel. New Steel. That's a solid four. Slight sensation of tugging. I want to go back and finish my shave off. We're going to use this guy. This this trig, we're gonna finish off with this because. And that's what I tell people, man, uh, I get so many customers that just, they've got like this old school view that a blade's a blade. And I don't know if that's from back in the day when there weren't as many blade choices as this. Like you would basically go down to the you know, pharmacy and you'd have maybe three or four choices of blades. Um, but so many people are, you know, so concerned about what razor they're gonna get, which one's gonna feel smooth, which one's gonna feel you know good for them. And I'm always like, buy anything, just get started, and then buy a sample pack. Because you might as well get started with something, right? But then you can really customize it with the blade choice. Um, I know I didn't have any twos or ones. Maybe I should have been more harsh. All I'm trying to do is just show like the gradations here. You know, you can assign whatever n numerical value you want to them. It's, it's more of how does it compare to the next. And by doing it rapidly like this, I think it was an honest test that, you know, had a lot of variables consistent. I had the same lather. I even refreshed the lather as we were going. I had the same razor handle. And because I was doing them so quickly, um, it was kind of really easy to, to feel which one compared. Like, had I done this over the course of like, oh, well, today I'm going to use the repair and tomorrow I'm going to use the trig. Like, I may not remember. Maybe I took a shower today, not tomorrow, and then, like, my beard's going to be better one day or the other, or you know, maybe I did a better job making the lather, or maybe a million different things, right, guys? But by doing it all together like this, it was really honest and, and telling which one kind of performed better. Um, I was surprised because some of these ones, like this trig, and these treats, like I've actually never really taken them home. I think I've used them once like this or for a shave review, but like I'm kind of thinking of taking some of these home. I used to think that I could only use, you know, one or two or three different brands of blades, but I'm happy to report that I can use a lot more of these than I thought. So look out, people. I may be buying up all the inventory. <laughs> no, but I'm just sitting here. 
rubbing that that uh, lotion in. Yeah, this balm is very, very moisturizing. It's like a lotion for your skin. And after a shave, it's always good to moisturize, right? You gotta think, all these different blades, right? The ones, especially the ones that feel harsh and scrapey, they're taking off that, that layer of dead skin, not just the hair. And so when you need to go back and put that moisture back in. Another important thing to note is that this complete sample pack that we've assembled before you today is always changing. We get brands in, or maybe we can't get a brand for a while, and so we'll always update the, the not only the website, but the actual uh, pictures and the form that goes in it, so you have the most complete up-to-date list of what we're putting in our complete sample pack. So, that was my wild 25 blade shave. What did you think? I know there's probably some brands that I didn't have here. We've had some supply issues getting some brands even into the store with the, the way things are right now in the world with trading and, 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 and commerce and shipping things. So um, some things just weren't here, but are there any brands that I missed? Are there any brands that I really need to try? Um, let me know in the comments below. And what do you think? Do you think some of my ratings were fair? Do you think my ratings were off the scale? Tell me, tell me what your favorite blade is. Tell me what rating you'd give some of these blades. Um, tell me below in the comments. And if you do, you're entered into win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys.